my friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So we're gonna talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. I have some fun things to share with you today. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a weigh-in every single Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I have followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, some exciting things, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing week. Welcome to September. We are in the Burr months. Those are my favorite, favorite months of the year. I have been just chomping at the bit to decorate for Halloween. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. I promised Troy that I would not decorate though till the second week of September. So next week, next week, I'll be decorating for Halloween. My background will change and I can't wait to have all of the Halloween vibes in my house, outside, inside, cannot wait. I actually picked up quite a few new things this year. Maybe we'll do a little Halloween decorate with me. We'll just, we'll just kind of have to see, but I'm excited to make my house full of everything Halloween. I've definitely been taking advantage of the moving into fall weather. It's been a lot cooler here. I mean, we are still getting in the 90s, sometimes hitting 100 during the day, but the mornings here have been spectacular. The monsoon season is over. The mosquitoes are starting to dissipate. And like I said, the temperatures in the morning have just been really, really nice. Boot camp isn't as miserable because there's less mosquitoes. It's less humid. And I am now wanting, and because of that, I'm really wanting to get back into hiking and being outdoors. Just, I'm just not going to hike in the summer here. I'm not going to hike during monsoon season because of the mosquitoes in the rain. But now, now I will start venturing back into hiking. And actually on Labor Day, instead of boot camp, decided as a boot camp group to go on a hike instead. And I'm so glad that we did. We went to Madera Canyon, which is out in Green Valley, Arizona. Actually where I'm moving, I'm moving to Green Valley. It's about maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes from my new house, about a half an hour from where I live now. And we took a hike called Baldy Mountain Trail. So we did not go all the way to the top. That's about a 10 mile hike, kind of an all day adventure, but we did hike five miles. So about two and a half miles there, two and a half miles back to a place called Josephine Saddle. So beautiful. I will tell you that that hike made me think that I was back in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, I saw pine cones and pine trees pine cones and pine trees in Arizona. It was insane and the mountains and just the landscape in general was so lush and green. It was so weird. It was weird. I was telling Crystal, one of the girls, that I truly felt like I was back in the Pacific Northwest in the desert. It's so nice that so close to my house, you can completely change scenery and the hiking there is exquisite. It's so absolutely beautiful. And this hike was amazing. 50 1,500 feet elevation gain in two and a half miles. So it truly was just a steady incline. We were climbing over rocks. I was enjoying the sunrise. It was so beautiful and it just got me really excited to hike. Really excited to go get back into hiking. As a boot camp group, we were talking too about wanting to do more hikes as a group because this is the perfect time of year. Fall and winter is where we thrive in Arizona. It's where we can be outside. When everybody else has snow and cold, it's gorgeous here. It's in the 70s, it's perfection. Yeah, I'm in my hiking era. I'm in my fall era and I'm in my hiking era. And this hike was amazing. I burned over a thousand calories, had over 14,000 steps. I have to say it was a really good way to start off September and a really good way to spend my Labor Day. I got in all the rest of my workouts this week, went to boot camp, went to the gym, just had a really good week activity wise, had a really good week water wise, really focused on getting in my water, really focused on eating lots of protein, meeting my protein goal every day, taking all of my supplements. Really, I've been wanting to get more into holistic health, overall body health, instead of just weight loss and maintenance. I really wanna focus on making my body the healthiest from the inside out. And a couple of years ago, maybe even longer than that, I talked to you guys about this at-home test called Vivu, Vivu, V-I-V-O-O. And I talked about it here on my channel. I took the test, it popped up on Facebook, and I was like, oh my gosh, the Vivu test. I need to order that again and start taking the test. 
So I did the body data test. So basically what this is, is it's just a little stick, like a pregnancy test stick that you go, that you urinate on and it's going to give you information on your body. And what's really interesting about this is I wanted to do a little test. I wanted to try this first thing in the morning, right when I woke up, before I had anything to drink, before I took my vitamins, before I drank my coffee. And then I also tested this another day after I drank my coffee and took my vitamins. So a couple hours after I woke up. And I will tell you, this is extremely accurate. The data changed drastically between those two tests. Then you scan it with the Vivu app on your phone and it's going to give you all of the information on your body and it is invaluable information. So it's going to tell you water, are you hydrated, are you dehydrated? How, what are your magnesium levels, your calcium levels, vitamin C, your pH, your ketone levels, your sodium, your oxidative stress and your protein. It's amazing that this one little stick gives all of that info. I bought the 12 stick pack because it was a little bit better deal and I do wanna test at least once a week for a couple of months. These 12 strips actually is a three month supply and that's testing once per week. I'm going to insert on one side of the screen my test immediately waking up completely fasted before any food, any vitamins, any coffee. And then I'm going to insert my test a couple hours after consuming my coffee and my vitamins and look at the differences in the levels and just my body's overall health. So Vivo just really helps take charge of your well-being and helps you understand your body a little bit different. It's really meant to empower us to take control of our wellness, understand our body needs, and improve our overall well-being. And it's innovative, it's science-backed, and it's really easy to support your overall wellness by just using these strips once per week. Believe it or not, your urine provides valuable data to help understand your body. The more informed we are about our bodies, the better. The way it will help us make better food choices. It will help us make sure we're getting in our water, staying hydrated, being our bodies, just doing what's best for our body from the inside out. I'm so glad I got these. I'm, I can't believe I forgot about it. And then when it popped up on Facebook, I was like, these need to come back into my life. I'm going to continue to use these through the rest of 2024. And it's going to be one of my goals for next year. When you see my goal video, I'm going to start using these on a regular basis because I couldn't believe the information that this one little strip gave me. These are extremely affordable. And I reached out to Vivu and asked for a discount code for you guys. They were so generous and offered a discount. I purchased it myself. It, this is not sponsored, but I did get a code for you guys and it's a really good code. So I'm going to put all of the discount information here on the screen for you. I've been really loving this. This has really just helped change my overall wellness game. So I had to share it with you guys, especially because I was just blown away by all of the data that it gives in the app. So again, I'll link it down below with the discount. So overall, I feel like I had a good active week, really implementing some overall wellness. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good for the burr months, especially the last three burr months of the year is the trifecta for weight gain. And I'm not going to let that happen this year. I'm really going to focus on my overall health and my weight loss journey, even through the holiday season. Speaking of holidays, I've officially posted the holiday challenge on Facebook. After I explained to you guys how mean people were to me when I tried to open up memberships here on my channel, I let you know that one way that you can take part and support the channel, support me, support Lola, support yourself is to take part in my challenge group on Facebook. It is a paid challenge. It's for three months. It's only $60. So it's $20 a month. We have monthly challenges. We have giveaways weekly. We have a Zoom call every month. It's a really, really good way to help make it through the worst three months of the year. And I just posted that challenge. So I'll put that information in the description box if you want to join. Highly recommend highly, highly recommend. If you go onto my Facebook group, you will see so many testimonials about how the challenge has really helped people continue to lose weight through the holidays. So before we talk about weight and my weigh-in for the week, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to take charge of unhelpful thoughts. Along with this being the worst time of year to gain weight, this is really the most stressful time of year. With all of the holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, setting New Year's goals, trying to figure out what we're gonna do in the new year to reach our goals, this time of year is really stressful and we need to figure out a way to manage it effectively. And during this time of year, it's when it is the epitome of setbacks. This is when we really encounter a lot of setbacks. And again, we need to learn how to help ourselves when this happens. So some things that you can try is to identify an unhelpful thought. Pay attention when your brain starts telling you something that's less than supportive. I ate all those cookies and now my week is ruined. Why even 
Why even bother tracking? Create some distance. Imagine that thought as a cartoon character and you're just relaying the script. There's that thought. It says this week is a wash and I should give up. And then commit to act on that thought. Decide which actions you'll take based on your goals, not the not what that single thought dictates. I don't have to quit. I'll make and track a low point dinner tonight and snack on zero point foods. So really intercepting those negative thoughts and helping to navigate those setbacks, I promise you it's going to really help you make it through the rest of this year and will help you reach your goals next year. We want to evict all those helpful thoughts from our brain. This approach is really critical on a weight loss journey because what you think truly often drives what you do. If we say negative things about our weight loss journey, it tends to derail us and get us off track and that's when we encounter those setbacks. This type of mindfulness is really hard to change at first, but if we just take baby steps and learning how to navigate this time of year, navigate those setbacks, we're really going to help just navigate our health journey in a much more effective way. We'll be able to reach our goals and we'll be able to maintain those goals. What we think isn't necessarily a fact. That's kind of the fast fact for today. Thoughts are not facts. They're just that, thoughts. They are not the way that it actually is. It's the way that we think it is. It's what we're interpreting it as. And we really want to focus on facts. So when we have those negative thoughts, we need to focus on the facts facts that are healthy, the facts that are positive, and that's really going to help us navigate all these setbacks. And I'm telling you, this is the worst time of year. Even more reason to join the challenge because we will definitely be focusing on how to navigate through the holiday season. So I really like this topic. The way we talk to ourselves can play a big part on how we think about ourselves and on our weight loss and how much weight we lose and whether we keep that weight off. Speaking of weight loss, let's talk about my weigh in. I had a really good week. I'm not going to lie. Coming off my cycle, I had a really, really, really good week. I felt in control this week. I felt proud of myself this week. I navigated any setbacks that I had this week. I feel really very effectively. I just feel really good about my week. I'm loving the Vivo test just to help give me more clarity on my overall well-being. It was just a really good week and it was a really good week on the scale. When I stepped on, I lost 0.6 pounds. So I have lost everything that I gained and a little bit more and I'm feeling really good about it. I am in a healthy weight range for my body. I'm in my little window for maintenance and I'm feeling really good moving into the holiday season. I'm excited to learn more about my body through the Vivu test. I'm just I'm just excited. I'm excited for the holidays. It's my favorite time of year, but I'm also excited to make this a successful holiday season on my health journey. And that's huge. That's really huge. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm having holiday sweets. I'm going to holiday parties. I'm doing all the holiday things. I'm just going to be mindful while doing them. And that's really all that we can do. And again, my holiday challenge will talk a lot about how to make it through these holidays without gaining the typical 10 to 12 pounds over the next three months. So I'm feeling really good this week, excited for a new week, excited for the month of September. I am traveling a little bit later this week to a conference. My really good friend Amy will be there from New York. My friend Henry will be there to see how that goes as far as food. It is a nutrition conference, so typically there's healthy options. I'm just excited for September. I'm excited for the rest of 2024. So let me know down below, how do you manage your setbacks? What are your tips and tricks? Let me know if you're going to pick up the Vivu test. If you've tried these, let us know everything down below. Of course, how your week was, I want to hear from you. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out the description box for the Vivu test. I will also have my nutrition coaching website, my Facebook group if you'd love to come join our holiday challenge. Actually, I'll put the link directly to the holiday challenge in the description box for you, as well as discounts to my favorite things. And come join my free Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy September. Happy fall. And I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.